what's up welcome back to my channel for today's video we are going to be doing my boxy charm unboxing i actually emptied out my box already because this box is massive you guys it takes up my whole entire workspace so for today's video we are going to be doing the monthly boxy charm unboxing that i do on my channel you guys know if you've been following me for a while that or if you're new to my channel first of all welcome but you guys know that every single month i like to take my boxy charm and i like to do a makeup tutorial using the products that are in the box as always my boxy charm videos are not sponsored they do send me the box every single month just in case i want to do a tutorial using it or an unboxing but i'm not required to post if that makes any sense for those of you that don't know what boxycharm is boxycharm is a monthly beauty subscription box you pay 25 dollars and you receive five full size or deluxe sample items it's five items guaranteed they also have different options they have boxycharm lux boxycharm premium i believe they have a couple different boxes the one that i unbox the most is just their original box because it's the most affordable box and that's the one that i think most people get so that is the one that we're going to be unboxing today so really quickly before we go ahead and get into the makeup portion i'm going to go ahead and run through the products that are in my box with using this little unit carton i'm going to let you guys know what i got and the prices of everything so yeah let's get into it the first thing that i see in my box is the murad hydrodynamic ultimate moisture for eyes this is an eye cream and this retails for 70 dollars mind you you only pay 25 dollars for the box so that is insane my box says that it brought an eyeliner okay so i think there is an I'm, I think I'm missing a product because it says here that it brings the KVD Vegan Beauty Anti-Precision Eyeliner and I don't have that. So I don't know if they forgot to pack me one, but I don't, that's not in my box. So we are going to skip that one because it did not come in my box. Um, next we have the Hello Charmers palette by BoxyCharm. This is an exclusive exclusive palette this retails for $39 and I'm really excited to try this palette look how gorgeous I just literally digged my nail in that shade but look how gorgeous this palette is look at all those beautiful colors so I'm excited this color right here is calling my name so I think I'm gonna do a look with this color but how pretty is this palette so again this retails for $39 then I got the Becca glow gloss and I got mine in the shade rose gold and this retails for $22 and this is the color of it very pretty Next thing that I got is the Sponja beauty wa body in body wash infused buffer and this retails for $16 I actually already own a lot of these and these this smells amazing I love this this is like a body scrub soap so i'm not gonna be trying this today but i can tell you that i've tried this before and i am obsessed so i think that my unit carton is wrong because i also received the pharmacy very cherry clean so instead of the precision liner i actually got this so i still did get my five products it's just this is wrong because i received this and this is just a makeup cleansing bob a melt away kind of makeup remover so i'm gonna try this today in the shower and i'll leave a note in the description letting you guys know how i liked it and my thoughts on this which i think i'm gonna like because i love everything by pharmacy but just in case check the description there's going to be a little note on there letting you guys know what i think of it so yeah that is everything that i got in this oh and by the way that retails for i don't know how much because it's not in my unit carton so i'll look for it and I'll also have that in the description down below. 
Alrighty, so we are done with the whole unboxing part. Now let's go ahead and do a quick little makeup tutorial using everything that came in the box. I'm really, really, really itchy. So yeah, let's do it. I already went ahead and did my brows and I did add a little bit of concealer right before I sat down to film, but I was kind of setting up my lights because I did get some new lighting. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more and I'm going to buff the concealer in using a, this is a Sephora Pro Airbrush Concealer Brush. This is one of my favorite concealer brushes ever. Next, I'm going into the Hello Charmers palette and I'm gonna take the shade Boxy and I'm going to use Boxy just to kind of set that concealer into place. This is a really pretty kind of white shadow with a little bit of sparkle. And I'm going to use that to just set the whole entire eyelid. So next I'm gonna go into this shade, which is called Spoiler. It's like a, actually, should I do that one? Wait, I'm gonna start with this one. I'm gonna go into the shade Premium, this one right over here. It's like a more, it's like a mustardy yellow shade. And I'm going to get that using a Carity E31 brush. And I'm going to put this in the crease. And this is going to be kind of like our transition shade. Next, I'm going to go in with a little bit of Cup of Joe, which is so cute because Joe is actually the CEO of BoxyCharm. So I'm going to take a Cup of Joe with that same brush. And I'm going to put this just a little bit lower in the crease. And wow, that's really nice and pigmented. Let me zoom you guys in. And I'm going to put that in the crease. So now we're going to go ahead and take the shade full size, which is this blue, beautiful shade right over here. This is a blue shade, but it also has like a pink purpley reflect to it, which I'm so excited to use. So I, ooh, it's really soft. I'm taking that using a Luxie 211 brush, and I am pretty much going to put this all over my entire eyelid. Ooh, that's beautiful. Pack this all over the lid. Okay, so this shadow is stunning. Like, it's, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful, but it is extremely glittery. There is glitter just falling all over my cheeks and I feel it, like I feel the glitter fall. So if you're going to work with this eyeshadow, um, make sure that you do your eyes first and then do your face makeup because you're going to get this glitter everywhere. Yeah, like literally, do you see that? It is everywhere. I'm actually going to take a little bit of Fix Plus and I'm going to spray my brush with some Fix Plus to see if that makes the glitter kind of stick down. There you go. That's much better. Okay, so yeah, um, I'm going to use a Fix Plus just so that it can really like stick down because it's kind of going everywhere. Okay, so I am just taking my finger and I'm just gonna work this all over the lid like that. And then I'm gonna go back in with that brush and just dust off any of those glitter particles. I'm making that blue like really crazy and all over the place so I'm going in with my finger and I'm really gonna like build this up and pretty much just place this all over the entire eye. I'm gonna go ahead and take a makeup wipe and I'm just gonna wipe off all of that glitter it's a lot of glitter so be very very careful when working with this eyeshadow palette because it's very very glittery so I'm just wiping this all off Okay, so now that the eyes are somewhat done, I want to keep them kind of simple because we do, we ended up with a lot of glitter, so I wanted to keep the, I want to keep the eyes just a little bit more on the simple side. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the skin. I'm taking the Murad Hydration Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture for Eyes Cream, and I'm just going to put this under the eyes. Take a little bit of this and put that under my eyes. Might have grabbed too much. Just 
just kind of put that right under there and i always take a little bit of my eye cream and i kind of put that on my lids to hydrate and kind of plump them up okay so that made my under eyes like super hydrating do you see that by the way i'm sorry if i keep looking this way it's very unlike me to look at the viewfinder but um i positioned my camera a little bit different today and i usually connect my camera to my computer my computer's over here now so the cable that goes to the camera from the from the camera to the computer doesn't reach so I am using this tiny little viewfinder for today. So I hope you guys don't mind that. Um, I am getting a new little monitor for this setup, but bear with me guys, okay? Bear with me. It's been a crazy couple days. Coronavirus has definitely taken over my life. I'm a teacher, so we have had to transfer the students to online teaching and that is something that is new for us we've never had to do that so if you are a parent who's watching my videos and your child is about to go into online schooling please be kind to your teachers i know we're all stressed i know but please have patience with us we're trying our best um this is new for us as much as it's new for you guys so please Please, please, please be patient with us. I feel like there's a lot going on and we need to be kind to one another. We need to have patience during this time. So yeah, that's why also there hasn't been any videos on this week and I'm uploading this one so late in the week because my life has been consumed by transferring everything to virtual school. So it's been crazy, you guys. But completely i went completely off topic but alrighty. so i'm gonna go ahead and do my face makeup because i do it in every single video and this box did not include anything for the face so i'm going to quickly do that and then i'm going to come back to finish off with the um rest of the face so see ya see ya in a second so i went ahead and did my face makeup which is driving me crazy because i have blue glitter everywhere in my face like it is everywhere in my forehead my cheeks there's blue glitter literally everywhere and then i also did my uh, my lower lashes i just applied that same blue color color i just applied that same blue uh color that's in the lid in the lower lashes and then i applied some falsies these are the alamad uh rebelde lashes and then i did the alamad i want to say it's the coqueta lip liner the dark one okay so the only thing that we have left to do is go in with the gloss that came in this month's box and i am taking this is the becca glow gloss in rose gold so i'm going to quickly apply this okay so i am also going to get the shade pop up from the palette which is a really pretty kind of champagne shade this one right over here i'm going to take the shade pop up the shade <laughs> the shade pop up and i'm going to put that in the inner corner of the eyes and i'm also going to put some on the tip of the nose and down the bridge of the nose okay so this is it this is the finished look um i wanted to keep this video very precise and to the point so that i can get it up for you guys as fast as possible because like i said earlier i haven't been able to get any videos up for you guys and i just really wanted i didn't want to drag out the video too long i wanted it to be to the point and precise because i know i also know a lot of you guys like that about these types of videos so um i didn't want to talk too much or anything like that so yeah this is it. This is the finished look using everything that was in my box. I have to say that this wasn't really like, there wasn't anything that I loved about this box. Um, I did, okay, I loved the box, but nothing really like excited me about the box. For other boxes, I have been so incredibly excited to just play with everything and like really do my whole entire face and makeup and all of this. And I didn't feel that with this box. The only cool feature that I really did enjoy was the eyeshadow palette. I think the fact that Boxy 
The BoxyCharm now has their own makeup brand is great. And the palette is really beautiful. It's a beautiful palette. The colors in here are great. They're beautiful. You have pops of colors. You have neutrals. You have shimmers. You have mattes. Um, I really enjoy the color selection, but that glitter, you guys, that glitter is everywhere. Definitely next time I'm going to have to um, apply some sort of, some sort of glitter glue or something like that to just kind of make the glue just stick to my lids a little bit better and not just go everywhere because it truly is everywhere so yeah that is going to be it you guys that is going to be everything for today's video thank you all so much for being here thank you for subscribing i love you so much and i will be back very very soon with a brand new video and you guys stay safe please 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 stay safe and wash your hands. I'll see you guys in my next one. Mwah. Bye.